With the power of Google Classroom, teachers have the ability to email parents and guardians to get their students to know about the updated status of their student in their classroom. Only students located in the domain are allowed to enter a Google Classroom based on how Egg Harbor Township School District has their security set up. So in order to invite a parent to be able to see their student's work, you should let them know that we have Guardian Summaries as an option. In order to use Guardian Summaries most effectively, teachers must start by inviting the parents via email address to the Google Classroom. The way you can check if a parent has already been invited is by going into your Google Classroom, selecting people, and then look over into the area where it says to invite guardians or recognize that a name and email address has already been added. You can see if an email address is available by looking at if and in campus and copying and pasting that email address, or you can reach out to the parent directly to find the best email address to use. Once you have their email address available, you would just click invite guardians next to the student you want to attach the parent to and type in their email address here. Keep in mind, their email address does not have to be a Gmail account. Remind them to check their junk mail after you've sent the invitation. Once the parents have agreed to the invitation, they will then be able to receive guardian summaries. But you'll have to do one additional step before those weekly notifications will be emailed out. In order to turn guardian summaries on for your individual Google Classroom, you'll have to go up to the settings gear here and scroll down. Now you can see underneath of the general area, Guardian Summaries is not turned on for this Google Classroom yet. All I have to do to have it activate is turn the Guardian Summaries on. You can see by this pop-up that I have the option to add Guardian Summaries to all of my Google Classrooms. But if you would like to click and choose individual ones, the best way to go about this is to uncheck this box and just hit Add Class. In order to finally activate Guardian Summaries, you'll have to hit Save in the top right corner. Failing to do so will not activate any new changes. If you would like to see what a general Guardian Summary would look like, you can click on this example here. You can see in this example Guardian Summary that it notifies the parents what work is still due for that student. It will also notify them in which class what they have coming up next week. At any time, if you would wish to turn Guardian Summaries off, you just go back up to the same settings gear and remember to toggle it back.